Good morning, class. It's January 17th, and today we're going to get started. We'll have to finish tomorrow. Um, we're going to get started on this fingerprint activity where we're looking at um, the fingerprints that we have, what we call a friction ridge surface, or FRS. Lots of different species on the planet actually have uh, friction ridge surfaces, and it helps them be able to pick up and grasp um, items. It's a great uh, evolutionary adaptation, and we have those. We get those traits passed down from our parents um, to us, but no two people on the planet have the same fingerprint. Um, a lot of it is genetics, but there's a tiny bit of environment, um, environmental impact on forming your fingerprints when you're in the womb. So even identical twins, when they're born, their, two, their fingerprints will not be um, absolutely the same. So I'm gonna show you really quickly how do we get our 10, how do we capture our 10 fingerprints so we can look at uh, the distinctive patterns that we have. There are three distinctive patterns with the fingerprint. They're called loops, whirls, and arches. But before we can identify how many of those we have, we have to get our 10 fingerprints uh, taped down on this sheet. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. We need tape, so you have to have a tape dispenser. Um, you're going to want an index card and of course you're going to want your worksheet and it's really this simple so let me sit down here um, first thing we're going to do first thing you're going to do is kind of take your pencil to the side and you're going to want to get a whole bunch of graphite down in one spot so you can pick that up with your finger in just a minute and then we're going to use the tape to capture that Okay, so I get I got a pretty good square. It's at least the size of my fingertip and I uh, got a whole bunch of graphite powder that's on there now. And so what I'm going to do because it's easiest right now um, is I'm going to use my left index finger and I'm going to really focus kind of just in the middle. If you if, if you can look at your fingerprint before you do it, you can kind of see where that pattern is. Um, this is where you're going to see the loop arch or whirl in this area. So you don't need to get graphite clear up here on the tip. You just need to rub kind of the ball of your finger right here, right before that, right above that first knuckle joint and uh, kind of getting up to just about two thirds up the tip is all. So I'm just going to focus on that area. So I rub my finger around, Do I just do kind of a circular pattern. And you can see that that picks up and I'm gonna get a little bit more over on the side so I can capture more of my fingerprint. And so now you can see I've got graphite pretty much all over my fingertip. And so that's where the tape comes in now. You're going to need a small piece of tape. It might be easier to just maybe get you about 10 different, 10 pieces of, of tape. Um, no longer really than the tip of your finger. Because then you're going to carefully take the tape. You are going to place it over that area of your finger where the graphite was. And if you kind of press it down, you're going to capture that. Um, fingerprint and be able to lift it off easy. Okay, so remember this was my left index finger. So now I'm just gonna peel the tape back up off of my finger. I'm gonna place it down in the box where it says left index. And then you can see, I'm gonna zoom in. You can see that I've captured a really nice imprint of my left index finger. But now I have to do my left thumb and the other three fingers on my left hand and then just repeat with your right hand. So tomorrow we'll finish getting these. Um, get as far as you can today. Maybe start with just one hand uh, so you know um, it just makes it easier for me. Um, and then you can see right here we've kind of got an arch. This is an arch and I'm going to show you what that looks like. So these are our fingerprint patterns. And they're not going to be the same with all the fingers, but we're going to talk about what that means. But the first thing, obviously, is we have to we have to capture our 10 fingerprints. OK, so index card, graphite, capture your fingerprint. You're going to need access to tape and I'll be coming around and helping you guys. OK, stay focused to see how far we can get.